we have a 2012 13 inch MacBook Pro that's not supported for Big Sur. How about we go ahead and patch it, shall we? Hey guys, it's Craig with Squappy's Videos, and today what we are doing, as I mentioned earlier, is we're actually patching my MacBook Pro 2012 13-inch. Now, we're going to go ahead and patch this so we can actually run macOS Big Sur, which is 11.0.1. I was perusing Reddit, and I did find the subreddit for Big Sur Patcher. So what we're going to do, we're going to use the program that I did find there um, that looks like the program was developed by Ben Sova um, and he actually did this in conjunction with a bunch of other uh, other people as well to go ahead and actually get these computers all ready to go for Big Sur even though Apple will no longer support it. So that's what I'm doing here today. I'm actually going through the process of creating the flash drive and then updating and installing Big Sur onto my MacBook Pro. Enjoy. All right, as you see, it does show that the patcher has finished running. And that we can go ahead and boot from the USB. It gives me the uh, step to go ahead and do that, of course, by pressing the Option key and then selecting the installer. Now, what you're not going to see, because I don't think my camera actually worked, is that once you actually press the Option key, there's going to be an option for EFI boot. We actually have to select that first and then power it back on with the Option key. To go ahead and actually select uh, install Mac OS Big Sur, which will then go ahead and bring us to the install prompt. Camera also didn't record that, so I am sorry. What we get is a lot of the installation process afterwards, just kind of showing that it is installing. Um, but basically, you go through that, you actually tell it to install basically over top of what you already had. So in this case, I installed over top of what I've listed as Macintosh SSD. Once you do that, it does take, it took probably about 45 minutes, even with an SSD in this computer, to go ahead and actually finish. So we're going to go ahead and roll that next, so that way you guys can see it. Stay tuned.
so here we are we are now in mac os big sur and as the installer did say is that i actually had to go ahead and find the app that was in my application folder for patched sur and open that up which will then give me the option to go ahead and patch kex update the mac os do about this mac you're going to settings we're going to go ahead and patch the kex it asked me to install the pass or put the password to install the kex go ahead and do that now and we're going to go ahead and try to patch them this actually makes it so the wi-fi is supposed to work it's primarily the reason why i'm doing it now of course other mac models may vary it will go ahead and just kind of run the gambit it actually is supposed it's running a script in the background that actually does go ahead and try detecting what model mac you have to go ahead and apply the right kernel patches to what you need now sadly what i dealt with is that it erred out on patching these kernel extensions which you will see in just a minute and what that did uh, make happen for me, sadly, was that my Wi-Fi wasn't working. So instead of boring you guys with all of that, I'm going to go ahead and just let this run an error out. I actually did go through it off screen to go ahead and actually fix the Wi-Fi. I ended up downloading a newer version of the, the patcher than what I had originally downloaded, um, which then allowed me to go ahead and actually patch the Wi-Fi overall. So, as you see here, here's the error it gives me. But no worries. I did at least record proof of concept afterwards here, which I will be showing you in just a second. All right, and here we are on my desktop. As you see, all the icons ha have changed compared to what, what it was before. Let's go ahead and go into About This Mac. And as you see, we are in Mac OS Big Sur, MacBook Pro 13 inch, mid 2012. If you notice at the upper right hand corner as well, my Wi Fi icon is lit up because I am connected to Wi Fi. See? Nice and connected, whereas before it was all dark and gray. But as you see, we're on Big Sur. So. That's the video, guys. If you do have any questions, definitely leave them in the comments down below. Uh, hit the thumbs up button if you'd like. Hit the thumbs down button if you'd like. Either one, your choice. Don't forget to subscribe. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye, everyone.